Hey, hey, mailbag 17 ish, first one for 2023. And UPS beat me to the punch and even opened up one of them for me. How gracious of them! And left it at the doorstep of the parts. Pretty well, still in the bag, kind of. But only one was damaged. So let's take a look at the first damaged one. And this is. No, it is not a slinky. It is a tin, tinned copper wire. This is a 0.2 millimeter, but they call it um, 35SWG. But and I'll put their spec sheet up in here because even on their spec sheet, it shows 0.2 millimeter. Then it says 0.21, I think it was 9 millimeter, eh, whatever. The resistance, though, is about uh, 0.6 ohms per meter. And I'm going to be using this instead of just stripping my normal um, 22 gauge wire. But, of course, the 22-gauge wire has a resistance of 0 0.03 ohms per meter. So, have to take that into account if it's going to make a difference in the circuit. Yeah, one slinky. Now, this is going to be the theme for the rest of it. Uh, two voltage, adjustable voltage regulators. Uh, this one here. Over here is um, 1.2 something to 37 volt, 1.5 amp, adjustable. It's an oldie. Ditto for this one. This is for negative 1.2 to negative 37 volt um, voltage regulator. Obviously, I'm going to be making a power supply. A linear power supply. So let me grab the next one and obviously Newart was having a bad day too. Um, both of these packages came from the same location and I'm kind of suspecting that means misload because they didn't put everything in there. So for this nice big envelope here, there's a total of Paperwork with my name on it, and a single package. And let's see, I already know what's in here. Some capacitors. Sadly, obviously somebody screwed up. And that should have been in here, too. Uh, these are... I believe there's a 100. Yes, 100 microfarad, 50 volt. I'll put where I got it from there and the price. Now the biggie. If I'm making a linear power supply, I'm most likely going to need bigger capacitors. Paper! More paper? No, that package there is garbage. More paper! So, let me just empty these out and of course I put the right there. Hmm, oh well. Have to see if I can blank that out. Okay. And that's it. So, one piece is a toroid. Uh, this won't be going in the power supply I'm about to make. This is for something else. 
I'll put the information there. And there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want in. Okay. One toroid with mounting gear. And as I said, the information will be up in the corner here on all the specs. Yep, all the packing gear, or mounting gear. So um, that's a dual input, dual output. And I'll put the voltage output up there, since I just forgot it. And next, let's go with the big ones. Okay, 10,000. And I'll also be putting the prices here or down there. So I picked up some 10,000. I'm not exactly sure which I'm going to be using. Uh, some 10,000 microfarad 35 volt. And some... Much larger. Twenty two thousand twenty five volt for those, and another nicely taped up box. Ah. One second. Okay, and some um, specs will be there. Um, bridge rectifiers, a couple of those. And then capacitors. Uh, these are, some of this is just for stock. Um, 4.7 microfarad, 100 volt. One microfarad, 100 volt, 33 microfarad, 63 volts, and finally, the last one, oops, 22 microfarad, uh, 50 volts. So basically, I'm going to make a power linear power supply. It's going to have, not this one, but transformer. Bridge rectifier, cap, cap, and on the top side will be the positive, on the bottom side will be the negative. There will be two voltage regulators here, two voltage regulators here. First one will be used as a constant current, or hence current limiting, and then the second one over here will be used for actually adjusting the voltage and then further over I'll have some displays but that's about it <laughs>